American carrier Southwest Airlines has agreed to a record-setting $140 million civil penalty over last year's holiday meltdown that stranded more than 2 million passengers. 미국의 항공사 Southwest 항공이 승객 200만 명 이상의 발이 묶이게 한 작년 연말의 항공편 결항 사태에 대해 1억 4천만 달러, 우리 돈으로 약 1,824억 원이라는 사상 최대 규모의 벌금을 내기로 했습니다. 자, 1년 전이었고요. 한 yep. 열흘에 걸쳐서 이렇게 굉장히 많은 승객들이 불편, 엄청난 불편을 겪었어요. Mm-hmm. Tell us more. Right. So if you remember this meltdown, it led to over 16,000 flight cancellations. Mm-hmm. It stranded 2 million passengers. Uh, so this $140 million settlement, it includes a $35 million cash fine and a three-year mandate that Southwest Airlines provides $90 million in travel vouchers of $75 or more to passengers that were delayed by at least three hours getting to their final destinations because of this airline cost issue or because of cancellations that occurred back in December of 2022. Mm. And um, they say that this uh, this this penalty, it's a industry-leading um, compensation program. Yeah. And it's to start in April, and it's all part of the Biden administration's aggressive efforts to kind of get tough on these airlines um, and it, it aims to require new passenger compensation and um, they say that after this happened last year Southwest Airlines they've kind of gotten things together they've um, they've already paid a lot of money to um, their passengers that were affected by the storm and they've put a lot of money into making technological advances mm. so they say they're ready for this year this mm. winter Southwest Airlines Airlines $140 million. 이전에 이렇게 항공사를 상대로 연방 정부에서 벌금을 내린 경우가 Air Canada가 있었는데 그때는 400만 달러 정도. 비교도 안 되게 이번에 yeah. 큰 yeah. 액수입니다. It's a lot. It is a lot. It's record setting, in fact. That's right. A record setting. It means to uh, it's creating a new record, mm. or it's the most extreme known value for some kind of performance in some field of endeavor or activity. We use this a lot for you know sports like athletes. Sure, yeah. Uh, that was a record setting performance. Mm. We, when we talk about stars like BTS, oh that they you know set another record. So their their concert was a record setting um, series of concerts. Mm. 그래요. 레코드 세팅이라는 것은 기록적이다라는 뜻이 되겠고요. 그 다음에는 um, there was a holiday meltdown. Right. So a meltdown is talking about a rapid or sort of disastrous de- decline or collapse. It can refer to a disastrous event, mm. especially a rapid fall. Maybe when we're talking about uh, the economy, uh, a rapid fall in share prices. Mm. But this can also refer to when we're talking about our emotions. We can sure. have like an emotional meltdown or a mental meltdown. We also call this like an emotional breakdown as well. Mm. Meltdown. Melt가 들어있죠. 녹다. 그러니까 meltdown은 원래 녹아내리는 것을 말해서 비유적으로 주가가 폭락했을 때도 쓸수 있고요. 우리의 마음이 지금 너무 힘들어서 마치 지금 탁 좌절이 되는 yeah. 것 같은 느낌이 들 때도 쓸수 있는 표현이고요. 여기서 말하는 holiday meltdown. Holiday 그러면 영어식으로는 사실 크리스마스 시즌을 말해요. 그래서 그 크리스마스 시즌에 완전히 어떤 그 운영이 되지 않았던 그래서 승객들이 정말 많이 발이 묶이고 어, 비행기가 뜨지 않는 너무나 지연이 많이 됐었던 이런 사태 자체를 어떤 붕괴된 것처럼 표현을 하고 있습니다. Yep. Meltdown이라고 말하고 있어요. 다시 한번 읽어보겠습니다. American carrier Southwest Airlines has agreed to a record-setting $140 million civil penalty over last year's holiday meltdown that stranded more than 2 million passengers.